Hello dear learners, welcome again. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, the MCQ questions based on chapter 4 of your semester 2 business economics syllabus. In the previous three videos, I have already covered uh, the chapter 1, 2 and 3. If you have not watched that video, uh, you can watch it. The link will be available either in the description box or in the i button. So dear students, uh, in this video, uh, I'll be covering chapter 4 of your syllabus and you can see it is a big lengthy topic, lengthy uh, chapter is there and uh, all the distribution or factor pricing theories are given here and this factor pricing or input pricing uh, topics are part of BA, BCom, BBA and MBA syllabus. So this will be in general useful for all the students though this I have made for uh, you people. So it the students it requires a lot of time and energy to prepare uh, these videos and prepare the questions uh, and uh, you know that this you are making for you all especially so please uh, uh, do subscribe first of all subscribe the uh, channel and press the bell icon so that you get notification whenever I make videos for you you need not to wait for the link which I share on the on whatsapp or in the google classroom so you must press the bell icon and please do like it you need not to pay anything for liking so usme kanjusi mat karo okay so let us move on uh, to the first question the first question is returns or rewards uh, uh, to inputs are called wages salaries rent interest profit all of the above the returns which are given to inputs the input inputs could be labor it can be capital it can be entrepreneur so for each different inputs different name is given like for labor wage and salary for uh, the land you say it will rent and for capital it is interest and for entrepreneur it is profit so the correct answer would be all of the above the reward to inputs are called by all of these names okay moving to the next Task pricing determines the amount of different factors to be employed in any production process. So input pricing, factor pricing, output, both A and B. So correct answer would be input pricing, whether, whether you say input pricing or factor pricing, pr both are the same thing. So input or factor pricing determines the amount of different factors employed in the production process. D is the correct answer. A firm will employ workers till marginal revenue product MRPL is equal to dash rate. Which rate? Market rate, interest rate, profit rate, none of the above. So market wage rate, the MRPL, the point where MRPL equalizes with market rate uh, till that time the firm will employ the workers. MRPL is equal to marginal product of labor times the dash of the output generated average revenue marginal revenue total revenue total output so we are talking about marginal revenue product so this marginal product of labor would be multiplied by marginal revenue of the output generated so you will get the mrpl so b is the correct answer value of marginal product of labor that is vmpl in a competitive market is equal to marginal product of labor multiplied by price of quantity M mpl multiplied by marginal revenue quantity mrpl all of the above in fact these all three are the same thing because in a competitive market price equals to average revenue equals to marginal revenue okay so all will give you the same uh, answer so all of the above is the correct answer labor or man hour is dash it cannot be stored so labor or man hour is perishable stored non-perishable transferable correct answer is the labor cannot it is perishable it cannot be stored okay and neither it can be transferred from one person to other person or one uh, machine to other um, from labor to machine okay so this a is the correct answer here the shape of supply curve of labor is inverted u-shaped backward bending s shaped forward bending so this is popularly known as supply curve of labor is backward bending 
okay it is like this this kind of curve you will find in case of supply of labor okay so this b is the correct answer here if you want to understand this topic in detail you can comment in the comment box i'll i'll make a video on it okay moving to the next the marginal productivity theory of distribution also known as general theory of distribution has been propounded by the das school which school of thought has given this marginal productivity theory classical theory classical school keynesian school neoclassical school mercantilist school the correct answer is neoclassical school gave this marginal productivity theory of distribution in the perfectly competitive factor market a firm will be in equilibrium when mrp is equal to mfc marginal revenue product will be equal to marginal factor cost and the second condition this is the first condition of equilibrium mrp curve must cut the mfc curve from below no mr curve must cut the mc curve from above this is the condition of product market mr curve must cut the mc curve from below this is also a product market condition mrp curve must cut the mfc curve from above so this is the left uh, this is the right answer okay this is the second condition of equilibrium in a factor market okay perfectly competitive factor market mrp curve must cut mfc from above okay that you should keep in mind whereas in uh, commodity market it is should be it should cut from below this is the condition okay that don't get confused with the commodity market moving to the next rent is that portion of the produce of the earth which is paid to the landlord for the use of original and indestructible power of the soil this definition is given by this is very popular definition and it was given by a ricardo this is a ricardian a definition of a rent okay which of the following statement is not correct ricardo consider the supply of land is completely fixed this is correct statement ricardo assumes the land to be used for growing a multiple crop ricardo assumes that there is a perfect competition in the market for land ricardo assumes that land differs in quality this is correct this one is correct first one is correct so second one this is incorrect okay this is not correct statement ricardo assumes that land to be used for growing a single composite cro crop instead of multiple crop okay so b is the correct answer differential rent or surplus equals to yield of intramarginal land minus yield of dash land fertile barren total margin marginal land so this is the formula used uh, by ricardo to calculate the what do you call differential rent or surplus rent the concept which is there in the ricardian theory of rent according to modern theory of rent which of the following statement is true rent arises due to scarcity of land correct rent is generalized surplus by uh, earned by all factors rent as a surplus earned by factor is measured with reference to transfer earnings of the factor in its prevailing employment all of the above statement are true so all of these three statements are true according to modern theory so d is the correct answer here according to mrs john robinson the price which is necessary to retain a given unit of factor in a certain industry uh, may be called as rent wage transfer earning profit it is called as transfer earning defined by mrs john robinson economic rent how do you calculate economic rent economic rent is nothing but current earning of a factor minus transfer earning c is the correct answer you should keep in mind these type of you know, formula and concept economic rent current earning of a factor this factor could be labor capital anything minus transfer earning so usually this is used as uh, sorry this is used in case of the rent here you know, we are talking about rent so current earning of a factor minus transfer earning okay so c is the correct answer here according to modern theory of rent which of the following statement is true when the supply of a factor is perfectly inelastic its entire earning are economic rent when the supply factor is less than perfectly elastic a part of earnings is 
economic rent and apart transfer earnings when the supply of factor is perfectly elastic its entire earnings are equal to transfer earnings therefore there is no element of economic rent all these statement in three different elasticity condition perfectly inelastic total earning is economic rent when it is less than perfectly elastic a part will be economic rent and a part will be transfer earning and if it is perfectly elastic it will be uh, the equal to transfer earnings all earning will be transfer earning earning there will be no element of economic rent so all of the above uh, are the correct answer so d d here is correct all of the above the idea of quasi rent was introduced by alfred marshall c is the correct answer that this also you this is concept based this is a, a fact based question so quasi rent or quasi rent uh, was given by marshall d this c sorry c is the correct answer dash wages are wages expressed in a monetary form and which do not take into account changes in prices in contrast to real wages this is nothing but nominal wages are expressed in monetary term so a is the correct answer das is defined as nominal wage divided by the general price level this is nothing but real wages you can find out real wages by dividing nominal wage with price so b is the correct answer the lowest wage upon which a worker and his or her family can survive is called subsistence wage subsistence wage just enough to survive okay so c is the correct answer wages are very largely determined by the interaction of the forces of demand and supply as in the case of ordinary commodity it is the view of wage fund theory subsistence theory of wages modern theory bargaining theory of wages so correct answer is modern theory it is modern theory which talks about demand and supply forces okay so again c is the correct answer according to marshall das is the price paid for the use of capital in any market interest is the price paid for the use of capital in any market defined as defined by marshall so a is the correct answer according to loanable funds theory of interest the rate of interest is determined by the equilibrium between demand for and supply of loanable funds in the credit market okay so the source or sources of supply of loanable funds is our savings dishooding bank credit and disinvestment all of the above correct answer is all of the above the supply of loanable fund constitute s plus dh plus bm plus di okay all four component will be there demand for loanable funds uh, consist of interest consumption hoarding all of the above again so demand for loanable fund equals to i plus c plus h okay so d is the correct answer according to keynes the desire for liquidity arises out of three motives and they are transaction motive precautionary motive and the speculative motive very famous concept given by keynes and this is uh, correlated with very much correlated with interest rate okay so c again c is the correct answer it is not necessary dear student don't make think that every here you will find a, a answer is a c uh, in final exam or in any exam it could be a, b the it, the place may could be different okay so you have to memorize the concept you must understand the concept not uh, whether a or b or c okay so moving to the next the rate of interest like the price of pro any product or service is determined by demand or liquidity preference and supply of money is introduced by david ricardo adam smith marshall jenkins so this liquidity preference theory uh, was a uh, given by j m keynes d is the correct answer match the following who gave which theory of profit so you have to match it this f b holle uh, gave, gave this risk bearing theory whereas j b clark gave dynamic theory of profit schumpeter gave uh, this innovation theory of profit whereas 
F. H. Knight gave uncertainty uh, theory of profit. Okay, so this this is also fact based question. Moving to the next, uh, profit is the reward for bearing non insurable risks is propagated by Holly Clark Schumpeter Knight. It was given by F. H. Knight. Okay, profit is the reward for bearing non insurable risk. The risk could be insurable, non insurable. So, profit is the reward for bearing non insurable risk, which was given by F. H. Knight. According to Dash, the main function of entrepreneur is to introduce innovations in the economy, and profits are a reward for this function. Who gave uh, this uh, concept? Uh, Holly Clark Schumpeter Knight. So this is Joseph Schumpeter gave this concept in innovation uh, theory of profit. Okay. Moving to the next, profit is the difference between selling price and costs, which emerges because of changes in demand and supply condition. Is the part of which profit theory? Innovation theory, risk bearing theory, uncertainty uncertainty theory of profit dynamic theory of profit this concept is the part of dynamic theory of profit profit is the difference between selling price and cost which emerges because of changes in demand and supply condition so dear students all the best keep learning thank you